This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Headquarters for round six of talks on seat identification. No slogans, posters, or flags on government buildings. EC tells all parties graffiti already on walls to be removed to the party's cost. Constituency deal is nearing a closure for the PM. KMPC K Karunanidhi will soon announce the constituency's the allies will contest. Residents of Adya State a road roco demanding their voter IDs be provided soon. It is not their duty. They are not appointed a sufficient number of people. That is what these corporation people are saying. But that is not our lookout. And the Manar Teachers Association demand pension reliefs in recognition. If that is fulfilled, this is what they promise. Our Kalikatan, Aindalacham, Arasu Udirkal, Asirigalin, Waki and Badi, Varun Terdalil, Waki and Badiyum, Mukia Maga, Terivitukula, Kadavi Patrukuro. Very good evening. This is the late night news. I'm Vivya. Let's bring you the news from the national and international quarters making headlines. Japan wants for possible meltdown in Fukushima nuclear plant but says any hydrogen buildup exploding is expected to be contained. Magnitude of the quake is revised upward to 9.0. The police chief in Miyagi wants more than 10,000 people could be dead. Gaddafi forces reverse rebel advances and closing on the stronghold of Benghazi in Libya. Lamps his batsmen for the loss to the Protea says they should bat according to the situation not to please the crowds. Well, the five-member Congress committee has arrived at the Anna Arivalem to hold their sixth round of talks to identify constituencies with the DMK. Home Minister P. Chudambram, who was to leave Chennai earlier today, has stayed back for the meet and will leave only tomorrow, possibly to wrap the deal. The Congress team did not turn up at the DMK headquarters last night and it was the VCK and the PMK who made a visit there. Meanwhile, it was business for the DMK today and the other smaller parties. The Perun Talaivar Makkal Katshi was allotted one seat by the DMK. This forum, which is floated by an RR community, will fight on the DMK symbol. And it's not just the DMK and Congress who are standing on a fluid ground when it comes to identifying constituencies. The left parties are not pleased with Amma's offer either. The CPIM State Secretary says they will continue to demand for 18 seats, whereas the AIA DMK is willing to give them only 11 seats. So the conflict of a constituency continues as of now, and sources say the Congress are eyeing seats that are primarily DMK strongholds. Here are some of them. Alandur is where the DMK and Congress have a strong presence. Amba Samudram is where the DMK won by a huge margin in the 2006 Assembly elections. Alangulam is IT Minister Pungodai Alade Aruna's home turf. And Tutukuri is Minister for Social Welfare Geeta Jeevan's home constituency. And for the latest on this, our reporter Salim now joins us live on the phone line. Well, Salim, we believe uh, there are a lot of developments uh, from the place you are, and what can you share with us? Yeah, the, we are the five member committee of the Congress party comprising P. Chidambaram, G. K. Vasan, Jayanti Natarajan, Jay Kumar, and Mr. Tangabalu arrived at the DMK headquarters at around 9.30. They are currently holding talks with the DMK. The media is waiting to hear from the Congress at Anna Arivalayam. The seat sharing committee of the PMK in a similar development met the leaders of the DMK late last night and in the morning as well, but the talks on identifying constituencies were inconclusive. The PMK leaders told us that once talks are finalized with the Congress, the DMK will be in a position to sort out the issue because sources say there is a stalemate between the DMK and its main ally Congress. The reason more than one political party are demanding the same constituency, allegedly what we heard is that both the Congress and the PMK are eyeing the military constituency. In a similar development, the VCK led by Tulthirma Walavan met the DMK chief and announced that the talks on identifying constituencies are over. Divya? 
Right, Salim, thanks very much indeed for joining us with those inputs. While the Congress and DMK have begun another round of talks in an effort to break the deadlock, looks like seat identification is coming to a closure for the DMK with the PMK and VCK. After meeting the DMK poll panel, PMK President G.K. Mani told uh, reporters that the party is having continuous talks with the DMK and since other parties are in the alliance, the discussions are continuing in finalizing some constituencies. He also says that as Alliance Party Chief Karunanidhi would formally announce the constituencies, the PMK is contesting in 30 seats for the polls after it had to sacrifice one seat so the DMK could meet Congress's demand of 63 seats. The VCK leader too says that the DMK chief will make a formal announcement on the constituencies today or tomorrow. The VCK has 10 seats in the DMK-led alliance. And while the State Election Commission has asked political parties in the state to stop writing slogans and pasting posters on the walls of government buildings in the run-up to the Assembly elections. The EC says placing of cutouts, advertisements and party flags in government buildings is strictly banned and pasting pamphlets on private property should also be avoided. The Commission has directed parties to remove writings on public properties if it had already been done and the cost incurred for the purpose would have to be borne by the candidate or the party which put them up. The election commissioner, chief election commissioner, in fact, S. Y. Qureshi, will be in Chennai tomorrow to oversee the preparations and meet all political parties and police personnel. And while residents of Adyar staged a road roco near the Zonal uh, Corporation office on LB Road today, saying that the corporation has been calling them every day to issue their ID, voter ID cards, but have still not issued any. Defending their stance, the corporation says that the election commission has still not assigned people to distribute cards as there is a shortage. But in a rebuttal of sorts, the residents say the election commission has already started advertising that the distribution of cards has begun. Hence, they are demanding they be given their ID cards immediately. election commission, apply four days, photo entry card will be issued. But these people say that it is impossible for us to distribute because many cards have come. So it is not their duty to do. They are not appointed a sufficient number of people. That is what these corporation people are saying. But that is not our lookout. As public, we want we go by what the TV, the what in the TV and the uh, what in the media, these election commission people are saying. And keeping in mind the election season, the teachers have come out on a Sunday demonstrating what they are miffed about. And they say the party that fulfills their demands is the one that the teacher community is going to favour. The Tamil Nadu Teachers Association were on a hunger strike from early this morning till 6 in the evening. They have a list of long pending demands which they want fulfilled immediately. They demanded that the government should allow all teachers who joined duty after 2003 to be able to apply for pension. They also demand for increase in security for teachers in the wake of many fake complaints against them. They also want recognition of teachers in government schools who teach history, geography and commerce. In the Koriki Kalayar, Yellam, in the Arasil Kachi, Nerive Tuadake, Wakur di Dadagrado, Tier del Wakur di Dadagrado, Avakal Kutan, Aindalachum, Arasuri, Asirigalin, Waki and Badi, Varun Terril, Waki and Badium, Mukiamaka, Trivitukula, Kadavi Patrukro. And still ahead on the bulletin, Japan's advanced early warning system actually managed to save a million lives during the earthquake in just 60 seconds.